Hi guys, welcome back to the Phil Studio. Today we're going to play with these little piezo disc and end up building yourself a contact microphone for your acoustic guitar or whatever acoustic instrument you have. Let's build. Okay, so piezo sensor are electronic devices that are deformed by the variation of pressure in the air or water, it depends on where you are. The reaction produces a signal which may be interpreted as audio. The design looks a little bit like the dynamic microphone we saw in the first episode, but our piezo elements are more fragile and much more sensible. We also have the diaphragm on this design, but instead of a coil and a magnet, we have here this little piezo, this cr piezo crystal which is attached to the diaphragm and will vibrate and then produce an electrical signal in those two wires. Like I said, they are really sensible and you should not bend them like that or you will end up damaging your piezo disc. They come in various sizes. This one is pretty big, but you can have some smaller one so it will fit your needs and their plain surface make them the perfect contact microphone. Placed on a plain surface, it will capture all vibration of that surface. The wood is a great material and will have a great resonance. That's why it's good for acoustic guitar or any acoustic instrument you have. A piezo contact microphone is really simple. All you need is a little piezo element disc some wires and a guitar jack connector. So let's build and take a look at these. Okay, so here I have different and various uh, kind of piezo disc. This one which has a plastic casing. I'm gonna show you how to open, open it and we're going to work with this one actually. We have a medium one with pre-soldered point. So you may just solder your wires on these and don't forget the center is the positive signal and the external is the the ground or the, neg the negative we have a smaller one here which is pretty old um, I'm not gonna use this one and we have a large one so to open this little one it's pretty easy you see there's a little hole here to let the wires pass just put your screwdriver and it's done it's really easy to open so actually this one is the same as the other one there that is already opened there's a little uh, silicone here a little coating that you might put out you I suggest you may take an exacto or gently pry it out be really gentle because they are pretty sensible and they may break so I got it out pretty easily. I'm gonna connect my home wire with a audio jack connector, a guitar jack. Okay, like I said, the center of the piezo will be connected to the signal wire and the external part to the ground. Be really careful when soldering on the piezo since they are pretty sensible to heat. I suggest you don't touch it right away since it may become really hot. So here I gently strip the wire and I'm gonna keep the red one for the center, the positive signal and I'm gonna put the white one with the shield and connect it to the external of the piezo. And I'm going to cut about half an inch that's all we need. Here I'm going to thin my wires. It's done.
it gets done it's soldered in the center I'm gonna do the external part make sure there's no short here we have the piezo disc soldered so this is the surface you're gonna use to capture the vibration and the sound so now what we want to do is solder the other end to the connector so we strip the wire again let's cut it about half a hinge again and again we will twist the negative signal with the shield the ground so all we have left to do is connect the positive to the tip which is here and the negative of the piezo to the sleeve here which is all the sleeve so all we have to do left is the ground don't squeeze it too hard twist it and you're done so the piezo will produce a pretty aggressive sound if you place it directly against your guitar so I suggest you apply a thin layer of plastic this will do the job hot glue uh, each ring or if you have this plastic dip which is a liquid plastic coating you may apply on your piezo and if you apply a good coating like plastic dip you may even record underwater be careful and follow the procedure I'll show you in uh, this other video how to do so now that the piezo is good to go I use some blue putty to hold in place on my guitar like that on the surface don't use tape or glue you will scrap the wood of your instrument so let's try it guys there's a lot to do with these little piezo discs and I encourage you to experiment by recording or listening to everyday object with this little device and you may notice that uh, the output of these microphone is rather really high so just turn down the volume of your mixer recorder or amplifier it's not that I'm scared uh, that your mom will get mad it's just I don't want 
you to break your equipments or worst break your ears. See you in the next episode where we will build an electric microphone like the one I'm using right now. Don't miss the special show in which I will show you how to make this little piezo disc waterproof. See ya.